Here is simulator for Arduino version 0.99b. We have implemented a lot of changes and fixes. When sketches which don't simulate are sent to us, we save them to a folder with the name of the version. Here are the sketches for version 0.99a. Let's open the blobs.ino sketch. Let's open the View Subroutines window to see how many subroutines there are. 192. The subroutines are now also available from this drop down box in the main screen. To jump to a subroutine without upsetting the program counter, just select the subroutine. OK, let's step into gd.begin. Since the subroutine gd.begin does not exist, the simulator has found the class definition subroutine. And if we step again, we are inside another class subroutine. Notice that the subroutine drop-down box shows the current subroutine, which is very useful for long subroutines. OK, let's open the Asperateur sketch. This sketch has a very interesting line of code. Let's step to it. Now if we look at this line on the status bar, we can see there are three nested subroutines on the one line. See how the simulator steps into ready battery, then check battery, and then check buttons. And finally, the servo is updated with a value of 1000. Other changes include moving some more stuff into the input-output window, such as the pulse-in function with the shift-in function. To add a new tab, right-click on the tab and notice that a new hash include line is added. Right-click on the toolbar to bring up a new language menu. In the file menu, the sketch can now be opened in Notepad or the Arduino IDE.